Good morning. Um, I decided this morning to make... Yesterday I went to the store. I took a friend of mine to the store and they had so much hamburger meat marked down that it was still in date, but they marked it down. Not sure why. It wasn't bad or anything because I asked the man and everything. And um, it was marked down like like 70 cents a pound. So I bought... I didn't buy it all because they had too much of it, but I bought... I think about 35, 40 pounds of it. But I got, I saved about three, three and a half pounds of it out because I wanted to make a huge meatloaf. And I'm going to make it in a flat sort of so I can cut it and they can make sandwiches with it. And I got all my ingredients over here. And I'm using real rich crackers in mine. So, and that's what I use in mine. And I got all my stuff. All the ingredients will be in the bottom. Now, I have washed and scoured my hands with bleach so this is a hands-on thing and I've already taken these and they've already been sauteed and everything these are just bell peppers um it's two whole big about medium bell peppers and a huge onion just a yellow cooking onion is all it is okay all right now so I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there let's go ahead and do that this will be a short video because I already got everything together. And like I said, everything I'm fixing will be in the description box below. And you can um, you can make a half recipe, make a quarter recipe, just divide the ingredients, okay? I got five eggs on a beet. Okay? You want to beat your eggs up pretty good. And there are farm fresh eggs. them in there. Okay, now in here I've got a whole bunch of ingredients and that's mustard and ketchup and stuff. But I will put all of my ingredients in the description box, okay? It's just your meatloaf seasonings and stuff. Okay. Right. Now, you want these fine. You could have used a food processor, but it would have been really noisy. Dogs would have barked. Everything would have went crazy. So I'm going to try to grind them up as fine as I can get them. Like powder. And these are the... You can use the store brand. You can use saltine. So. We'll see if I want one pack or two. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix this with my hands. Okay. And you'll be able to tell the consistency of how how smooth it comes out. And it's going to be like a mushy mess, but it'll bake and be just so delicious. Okay. Okay. There we go. See how it's starting to look like a mushy mess? Here we go. I think I might do add the second pack. Because I'm making a big one because they'll eat meatloaf sandwiches for days. And we'll all this incorporated really good. And then when it comes out, I won't do a part two of this, but when it comes out and you're sure that your meatloaf is done all the way through, you want to let it let it sit on top of the stove just for a couple of minutes and then coat it with a ketchup and then put it on broil for a few minutes to to get that going. Hold on one second. I don't want to contaminate everything, but I wanted to wash my hands. When you're cooking, things happen. And I got greasy hands. I think I'm going to put those right there. I don't want to keep touching everything. I should have, I wanted to show you the sleeves. I should have crushed those into a, um, 
into a bowl too, but I wanted to show you the sleeves, how big they were. So. But that's all right. This is what I would have done anyway, just dumped them in here and kept massaging it all till everything is incorporated. As I said, I'm making a big one because Albert will eat meatloaf sandwiches for days, so. I made spaghetti the other day, homemade, and he's been eating on it for days. Oh yeah, this is a perfect consistency. That's about the consistency you want it where it's like clumpy, like like sort of a mushy hamburger. Okay. There's a cracker. It needs crushing. I mean, the crackers would dissolve anyway. If you didn't get them crushed up good, it doesn't matter. Nobody will ever notice it because... And what I do is while my meatloaf is cooking, I sort of keep, keep, um, I keep the grease drained off so it won't be quite so messy. So, well, this is going to be perfect for this pan size. Kind of thought it would be. This is a 13 by 9, and like I said, this is three and a half pounds of 80-20. Move you out of the way and slide you around. Now you want to massage you down into your down into you and make it smooth as you can all the way around. Try to make it as even as you can get it. Okay. And just go around and around and around. You don't want to pack it. You want it to be able to kind of breathe a little bit, but but this is going to be good here. There we go. All right. Let me wash my hands. In just a moment, I'll be right back. the waste of the water to heat up. I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I got all that hamburger out one of my fingernails and stuff. So, I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see. So you see, it's 13 by 9 meatloaf. It will serve, I would think, let's see, one, two, three. About 20, 20 sandwiches, maybe. Maybe if you cut them smaller. All right, I hope this helps. I will put all the items in the description below. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.